create spreadsheets in Excel. Um, I'm using Excel 2016 and I highly recommend that you use Office 365 as that way you'll get the latest version. Primary reason for that, what I'm going to demonstrate works quite well in Office 2016, uh, but it has a lot spottier results in the earlier version. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to open up one spreadsheet. Now for this I'm just using some random spreadsheets and I'm going to open up one first and that is uh, this one here. It's called book one and then I'm going to go in and I'm going to open up another one. So this is the one that I'm going to be copying to and so I'm going to create the link and there's several ways of doing the links and I'm going to show you uh, one of them. So we're doing primarily the same thing as you would do in linking any two sheets within a workbook. The only difference is, is they are in separate workbooks. Now this is my second workbook and I'm just going to go in and I'm going to select in this case I'm going to select all of these cells and that way if I make any changes in any of these cells it should automatically update the other spreadsheet. So I'm going to copy this right here and then I'm going to switch to my other one. And by the way, I am using Windows 10. So we've got Office 2016 in Windows 10. Now I've gone back to my other book. And I am going to go down here. And I want to paste a link. And it's really important that you paste the link. Otherwise, all you're going to do is you're going to get values. So click Paste Link. And now if you look right here, you can notice that up here, up in the, up in the uh, formula bar, you can see that it has a link to that other book. So now all I have to do is, and I'm going to show you this, it's as simple as that, and then it's done. So of course, we're going to save this. Okay. And then I'm going to close book one, and I'm going to make a change in book two. So in book two here, I have the money amount set at 5,500. I mean, I'm sorry, 5,000. I'm going to change that to 5,500. And then we're going to save this workbook. So now we have a change there. And I am going to close it. And I'm just going to close it from here because I want to leave Excel open so that I can easily access the other one. And I'm going to show you how it should work. So now I'm going to go here. And I am going to open up book one again. So now, in the older versions, you actually had to have both workbooks open in order for updates to happen. So I'm going to click on this, and we're going to look for a prompt here. Now the prompt says this workbook contains links to one or more external sources that could be up unsafe. You should always get this warning. If you trust the links, update them to get the latest idea. I created a link, so I'm going to trust them. So I'm going to uh, click update. Now be very careful if you get something from an unknown source because it could potentially bring a virus into your computer. So only click this if you know the source. So now if you notice, you can see that under month it says 5,000, which is what we had before. As soon as I click update, it changes to 5,500. So what Excel is doing is it's going and it's grabbing that information from the other upsheet because when you other um, workbook because when you update it it um, automatically sends that message to the link now this is how it's supposed to work but just be aware as always with Excel it doesn't always work right if it doesn't work correctly then if it doesn't automatically update if it doesn't give you that warning then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go back and um, open up that other spreadsheet and then it should update from there. So once again, it should automatically update even if the other one isn't open. But if you don't get that warning and you always want to make sure that you have an indication of what it is. So in other words, you want to have some kind of test data that you can check to make sure that it updated. If it doesn't, open up the other spreadsheet and that should automatically update. And that's the conclusion of this one on doing links between workbooks. And once again, this is Outlook 2016 on Windows 10.